Today I'm going to be taking Big D, who is my horse that I have in for training right now. I'm going to be taking him out on a trail ride, so let's go. Desi has been such a champ so far. He's, um, his history, he's got a little tendency to spook at stuff. So the thing I, um, the way I look at it is when I take a horse in for training, it's kind of like sending a kid off to camp. We go and we do all kinds of little adventures. So I've taken Desi to the beach um, and now out on a trail ride and just kind of try to take him places and do as much as I possibly can with them. I think it's excellent to to be able to find things that bother them that way. But he's been so good today. I'm really, really pleased. And so far, um, he's led the whole trail. We've walked, trotted, and cantered. We've run into, we had a deer cross out in front of us. So that was pretty cool. We had a partridge fly directly underneath his nose and then flew up on the other side of me and um, bombard the, the rider that was by me. And we've seen, um, what else? Oh, I saw some toads, but that's not gonna, bother him at all but I love getting out on the trail it's just awesome so I'm really proud of Desi he's doing just great but the big thing is is if I see something that I think might bother him I immediately redirect him so that's important now something he needs to work on is slowing down from my seat like right here I'm having to really hold him and I want a soft feel before I release he's kind of pulling on the bit he's diving his nose down and pulling I'm just holding my reins snug and I'm gonna do that until he stops pulling on me right there good boy so this horse really really needs work on that and I've been that's what I've been focusing on is trying to get him to slow down from my seat he'll speed up really great but he kind of has go on the brain which I prefer it's a lot easier to teach a horse to slow down than it is to teach one to speed up in my opinion so I'm just gonna keep plugging along at that and he's getting better. It's just gonna take some time and that's something that I'll definitely be, be showing to his owner so she can take him home and work on that some more. Something that a lot of people have issues with is their horse eating on the trail. Now that is a big pet peeve of mine as well and I do a lot to prevent that. So the biggest thing is just like right there, he wanted to go and grab a leaf, but I went ahead and, and blocked him with the rein before he could get his head down. Using one side of your rein is usually the most effective way to do it, but you really have to watch and prevent it from happening. It's not, you know, some people, they, um, as soon as their horse grabs a, grabs a branch or a leaf or something, they smack them. Uh, that's not gonna do anything. The only way that you're gonna teach a horse to not grab leaves on the trail is to make it difficult for them. So just redirecting every time you notice, like if you, if you even think that, hey, my horse is gonna go after that leaf or that piece of grass, do something with them. So tip their nose a little bit to one side or the other, maybe hustle them up into a trot. It's harder for a horse to eat if they're moving at a faster pace. Like this guy, right when I got going on the trail, he was wanting to grab everything. And now he's sort of giving up. Did you see him go for that right there? he's starting to give up on it. So that's good, we're making really good progress. <laughs> we kind of took off on everybody, so we're just sitting here waiting for him. It's fun, I needed a good canter. <laughs> now something else I want to address is when a horse gets worried about other horses behind them. This guy's not really too bothered by it, but he can get a little insecure. So my go-to when I'm on a horse that doesn't like others behind them, for one, the rider behind needs to know to slow their horse up. But when you're riding with kids, sometimes that's not really an option. So I make sure that I get my horse's feet busy. So. I'll just hustle him up a little bit and you know, I'll let the rider know behind me, hey, you stay at the same pace. I'm gonna speed my horse up just a little bit and that usually is really helpful for getting rid of the problem because 
sorry, I'm out of breath here. Um, the biggest thing is a horse will get, they'll feel trapped, okay? And they've got this other horse coming up behind them and they don't like it. It makes them feel like they don't have anywhere to go. So if you can just let your horse know, get going, hustle forward, you'll be okay, I'll take care of you. You'll make your horse a lot more confident about having others creep up on them. This is my absolute favorite hill. I've always called it the fit strip because I used to take Nika up here and I would start way back. No, buddy, did you just hear me? You thought, well, we should go faster too. It's really washed out right now. We had some pretty big storms. So definitely wouldn't want to run a horse up this right now, but it's nice because it's a really long hill and it kind of has a corner and then comes to um, a sort of a steep hill and then just sort of stops. So it's a great place to, to get a horse super fit. I like trotting all these big hills and a little galloping here and there, it's awesome. So this is Desi's first time out on these trails and he's just doing fantastic. The big thing about trail riding that's important is you have to make sure that you're in good company. So right now I have one of my students behind me and then my mom and two of her boarders and then my assistant Beck. And the nice thing about riding with Sharice is she always, um, she always gives you a good laugh. <laughs> Boy, those two are sweaty. Another thing that comes up a lot of times is spooking on the trail. So I want to talk about kind of how I handle that sort of stuff. There was a log that we just passed that would have been an excellent example to show you of the types of things that horses can spook at. But basically, if anything just looks sort of out of the ordinary, um, we even had a just a regular, just a tree that was down back a ways and he kind of looked at it funny, but it wasn't a big deal but it could have been. So, but this area that I just passed was um, a tree that had fallen down many years ago and it was kind of um, starting to deteriorate. So it was, it was different color than normal. So he looked at that and had I been concerned about it at all, it would have confirmed to him that yes, you should be worried about that. And so what I did is as soon as he looked at it, I just nudged him forward with my legs. I didn't even look at it and just kept going acting like what there's no big deal so if you show your horse at all that there's a reason to be afraid even if your horse stops and looks at something and you reach down and pet them you're just kind of encouraging them to be worried about it you are verifying that yes you should be worried so what I always do no matter what is I just sit stay as calm as possible and carry on so trail rides are so good for horses physically and mentally you know, I, I really like to have a, a nice long rein and let my horse just kind of hang their head a little and relax. It's so good for them. He can just sort of stretch out and enjoy himself. He's had his ears up the entire time. You can really tell that he enjoys this. So one of the things that I have noticed over the years is 90% of the people that I've ever seen fall off on a trail ride are walking. And I've always kind of made it a habit to be trotting, even some cantering. I think that it keeps the horse very um, um, focused on what they're doing. And I also think that a rider has a better chance of staying on at a trot because you're using more of your body when you're riding. So this is my friend Cherise. Hi. And Cherise, I haven't ridden with her in years. And she usually rides with my mom and a bunch of the gals and they kind of take it a little slower. So. Would you say that was this one of the fastest rides you've been on that in a while? That was the most consistently fast ride I've ever. I do like little spurts, but not keep Junior at a trot or a canter. Yeah, yeah. It was fantastic. Well, good. And you yeah. felt you felt safe? I felt very safe. And did you feel like he was focused? Yes. Good. That's yep, awesome. Yep, yep. Very, very good. Yep. So, yeah. Wonderful. Awesome. I like to I like to move on the trail. I feel like we're accomplishing so much more when we just get going. So. And I had to pay attention. Exactly. You know, normally I don't don't. Well, that's just I, it. I had to. And that's why riders come off because you're kind of just meandering along, lollygagging, and you just don't. Yeah. It's not the same, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So. It was great. Awesome. Uh, you should come once a month at least. Yes. Okay. I'll do
Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know I sure had a great time. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.